Hello and welcome to my first ever one line drawing tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you some basic skills that uh, you can start to work on in order to master the continuous line style. There are a few different ways to work with the continuous line. Mine is a little less about finding the most minimal line to create the shape or face or figure that you're trying to convey, but it's more about finding the areas of shadow and light and defining those with the line. So my videos will be about my style, um, but you can use a lot of these skills to make the style your own, obviously. Um, so this is the first of hopefully a few of these that I'm going to be doing in the next couple weeks. So keep an eye out for those and we'll get started. So I always start my one line drawings with finding an image reference to work from. Uh, sometimes I work live with someone who's in front of me, but usually I'm just working at home and uh, I'd like to have an image handy. Uh, the best resources that I've found for finding good reference images are working from stock images actually that are free to use on the internet. I like these because you're not, you know, ever in worry of using someone else's work, someone else's photography without permission or without, you know, licensing it first. Um, it's just an easy way to get just tons of images uh, that you can be inspired from. I also a lot of the time will just use myself as a reference and take a picture in different angles if I'm trying to get a different neck movement or jawline angle that's you know also free and easy and that's a big barrier to working so I like to always have you know images saved on my computer or on my iPad ready to use for whenever I want to be working so that way I don't spend an hour you know scrolling through and trying to find an image that is inspiring. Uh, I like this image for today because it's high contrast and so you can really see dark darks and light lights. There's lots of shadow and lots of highlight so it'll be easy to work from um, to show some of the things that I want to show you today. One of the first skills that helped me start in this style and be successful pretty quickly was doing almost a mapping of the face and creating uh, almost like puzzle pieces of the shadows and the light, uh, light highlights. Um, so I'll start doing that now. I really like this mix of shadow and light right here. So I'll start there with kind of just the under eye line. And it's all just about looking at the shapes that are actually there. You're not making up anything um, or doing what you think should be there, but your pen and eye should be tracking as you go. So here I have this little shadowy area and it leads right to the eye. And then from there, you've got, you know, the eyelashes which I kind of see as like a shape more than individual lashes. Um, so that's the dark part right there. And then this little section still continues down a little bit into the cheek. And I see it kind of swirl around into this line right here and up to the nose. And sometimes, this is the old style I used to work in, I would actually do hashes where the dark parts are. That's how I would create, you know, the dark areas was through mapping it out and then actually darkening the areas that I saw. So this would be a little lighter. This part, you know, comes around to just below there be a bit darker so the lines would be a little closer together. So we're building the face 
not by drawing a nose, drawing an eye, drawing an eyebrow, but by literally going through little bit by little bit. And the hope at the end is that all the pieces start to come together. That's the goal of it all, that when it comes together, it looks like a face. But as you're going, you're not looking at a face, you're looking just at shapes. And you're just looking at light and dark. So that's probably the darkest point is inside the nostril. This comes up and around and makes a really nice shape around there. It becomes really light in here. And then it's dark again. It is hard to talk and draw. <laughs> so we might have minutes of silence, but that's okay. So as you can see, things are starting to come together. You can start to see that that's a nose, that's an eye. I got, you know, a little, this got a little slanted from what it is, but that's okay. It's all just about seeing the values scale here. The lip is cool because there's that light kind of ridge into a really dark area. Just a little tiny highlight right there. It's that little guy. And then this has almost the opposite where this little ridge is the dark part and then there's a highlight on the skin above the lip that leads into that little crease right there it's dark again So this is all just to help you see what's actually there and not see with what you think should be there because that's where you'll start to be in a, just a different kind of style. There's definitely styles where you do more just kind of abstract ideal forms. Um, you know, you'll see it where someone just does, you know, the, when they're doing a mouth, they'll just do the one line, you know, something like that, where it's just a mouth. I just think it's a little more interesting and fun. And for me, the whole challenge in one line drawing and the whole fun of it is really exploring these interesting shapes because they're unexpected and they're not actually what you think they're gonna be sometimes. And then when it comes together, that's how somehow in one line, you know, you can get a really realistic looking thing. Or you could get it to actually look like somebody because you can get kind of some of those more specific traits or, you know, ways that their face kind of connects together. So you're just drawing chunks. You can even do it less. This is kind of more involved. You can do it a little chunkier, you know, where you just are drawing really bigger shapes and bigger areas. Okay, 
can go pretty fast. It can go as slow as you want. It's just a really good way to help you start seeing differently. And pretty soon it just all starts to connect. And that's a really good feeling when, you know, the line comes down and it's where it's supposed to be. So this came up a little high, that's okay. So that's the first kind of skill building thing that is helpful to do is look at the image and map out where the darks and lights are. You know, you could even do it sketchier. You don't have to, you know, draw it out as rigidly. It's just a way of loosening up a little bit too. So that's it for lesson number one. Stay tuned next week. We'll get into more skills that you can do to help become the master of one line drawing. I know this seems like you're drawing a million lines and seems like the wrong direction, but really this is the number one thing that will get you there quickly, um, is being able to really see these value areas for what they are um, and the way that they connect together to create the whole face. Um, so this is a time lapse of the same image that I used before done as a one line drawing. And as you can see, it's the same principles as the other style of drawing where you're really just mapping out the face using the shadows and the highlights that are already there. And when it all starts to come together, uh, you start to see the whole face and your mind can connect some of the lines that are left out and it automatically pushes back some of the darker areas and brings forward some of that white space.